Hey everyone, so today we thought we'd do something different instead of our normal training videos. We're gonna do something fun and a little artsy. I thought I would paint Tucker in honor of, you know, summer almost being over and the kids camps that happen and you paint the horses. And then I'm also gonna give him the opportunity to paint me a picture. So we'll see how that goes. So what I'm envisioning today is the first thing I want to do that I'm really excited about is I want to paint Tucker's appy blanket or as Colin likes to call it his diaper butt. I want to paint that blue and the reason I want to paint it blue I was reading if you have a sorrel or a chestnut horse like Tucker blue is a good color for them. So I'm going to start there and then maybe I'll try some other little artsy things. We got a bunch of this nice bright colored Look at this, oh my gosh. Got us some paint brushes. So if you wanna paint your horse, one thing to keep in mind is that you want to buy water-based paint. Um, we bought Tempera, which we just got at like Walmart or something. Um, but it's water-based, it's washable, it's non-toxic, which is important. So that means that, you know, if the horse accidentally consumes it, they should be okay. And another thing to note is you don't wanna use acrylic paint, because apparently that is really hard to wash off. This is washable, so once we paint them, we're just gonna hose them off and hopefully it will just come off. We'll see. All right, here we go. Don't freak out, young man. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh man, this is gonna look good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the largely white spots first. I'm gonna kinda go around these dark spots so I can get that with the smaller brush. I want it to look nice and professional. <gasps> what is happening to you? You're just changing color. This is just really satisfying. I remember being at kids camp when I was little and we'd paint horses, but you know, your artistic abilities at that point aren't always the best. So I feel like I have the artistic ability and vision now to make something good or not. We'll see. So one thing I've noticed now with this paint is that if I put it on light enough, you can still see his spots. So that actually saves me time because I was going to paint around each individual spot. We'd be here forever if I was doing that. So it's about 70 degrees right now, and I thought if we're gonna paint him, it'd be better to paint him when it's cooler. Uh, just cause I bet like if you get paint on you, or if it's on them and it's covering their whole body, it probably helps retain heat. And so since it's summer, I did not want that. So we're painting him right now and it's a little cooler, and that way it just won't be miserable and icky to where like the heat is bugging him so much. To be honest guys, I would not be surprised if after we do this and Tucker turns around and sees his butt. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he freaked out. He's just so quirky about this stuff. And I think it'll shock him that he's a different color. So we'll see what he does when we're done. <laughs> so we're having a treat break right now since Tucker is standing so good. Bite! There you go. Uh oh. Apples are like his favorite treat ever, aren't they? So for those of you who don't know, Tucker and I recently came from Oklahoma. We had lived there for a while and we moved here. But before living here, I don't think Tucker had ever been in a barn because we let him in the barn and he was freaking out. <laughs> so he's had time to adjust and just get used to normal life and stuff. So I do have two other horses, but I don't think they're technically mine anymore. I had them when I was growing up and then I moved away to go to school and my mother kind of claimed them as her own. So those are her horses now. So Tucker's basically my only horse really at the moment, but that's perfectly fine because he's a good boy. So the dream is one day to get some of our own property so we can have Tucker there. I also, <laughs> one of my dreams is kind of to get one of those wild mustangs and tame it. So we'll see if that ever happens or how that goes. We may chicken out on that. So if you could have any color horse, even unnatural color, what horse would it be? 
I would probably do like a neon horse. I just think that'd be cool and interesting and weird. So comment below, I'd love to know. Okay, so the blue butt wasn't as impressive as I thought it was gonna be, so I'm gonna add a little flare. Oh yeah, baby. Look at how highlightery. It is not like being touched right now. Oh no, it's turning into an abstract piece of art, guys. There is something therapeutic about this, I will say, even though this looks like a wreck right now. So let's splatter paint him. I'm not sure how he'll like this, so if he freaks out, we won't do it, but we'll see what he does. He's like, woman, what are you doing to me? Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is a little art project. And I thought I could paint the bottom of one of Tucker's hooves and get him to step on this. And just so I'll have like a little signature from him. What is it? Oh, you wanna lick it. Okay. I know this looks gross. It's all sand. Next, I'm gonna take the board. Tucker, what are you doing to me? Oh my gosh, what just happened? Okay, let's try this a different way. Hopefully he'll stand on this. There, good boy. Oh my gosh. Well guys, I guess that's an art project not to try at home. Maybe I'll still keep this and put it on my mantle just because I know what it means. Ain't that right? No, you don't want that in your nose. Okay guys, this is the moment you all have been waiting for. We're gonna see if Tucker will paint us a picture on canvas. I haven't taught him to do this and he's never done it before, so it may be a failure, but I think it'll work. He likes to put stuff in his mouth, so maybe he will hold the paintbrush and paint us a picture. All right, Tuck, let's see if you can do this. Did you do this, Tucker? Oh my gosh, look at this. Look how good this is. Oh my gosh. Good job, Tuck, what a good boy. Go, get, go! Good boy! Oh, you're gonna roll? Uh oh, your halter buckled up. Uh oh, your halter. Your halter's coming off. Uh. Well, now that the fun's over, let's go wash Tucker off and get him back in his field. I know, buddy. Goodbye. Look at this. Marks on him from where it was. Did you see it? I think he will kind of have this loose tint to him, but it does come off super easily. Like running my hand over him. Look at that. I hope you guys enjoyed this change of pace today. If you haven't already, please go subscribe to our channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up.